up, Chicago, and welcome to episode 12, numero 12, of the Shy to Glance YouTube channel where we cover all things Chicago related. If you like this episode, please subscribe and please give us a little thumbs up at the end. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Shy to Glance. Well, first of all, I want to start off this episode wishing all the amazing fathers out there a happy Father's Day. I actually lost my dad um, back to colon cancer in January of 2004, and he seriously was my best friend, best dad, just a great person all around. And I want to say I think I got my photography skills from him. So once again, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. On this episode, we're going to keep everything summertime shy related. We're going to be doing some rooftop dining, some patio dining, some rooftop movies, and also we're going to get transported to New Orleans. But first, let's go and do a little rooftop dining. It's a really great spot, really great food. Let's go check it out. Streeterville Social is located in the River North neighborhood inside of the Lowe's Hotel. The rooftop bar and lounge will have seasonal programming and an exciting new menu from executive chef Trevor Hoyt and chef de cuisine Michael Schreider. We basically tried the whole menu starting with some delectable seafood options. You're in for a treat. So I'll start off with this one. So this is our pork belly. Uh, it comes with a citrus glaze. You got a little avocado puree along with our uh, fried shallots and pickled jalapenos. Mm -hmm. And then over here is our uh, tamarind braised short rib. Uh, so it's just tamarind uh, sauce on top of a little bit of a citrus salad. And over here is our uh, yogurt uh, saffron kebabs. Uh, that is uh, marinated in our yogurt sauce with a little bit of caper um, tahini on a bottle. And then you got pickled uh, red cabbage on top. Thank you. It looks Welcome. gorgeous too. Yeah. Uh, so you got a little bit of um, uh, soy ginger grass tree along with our uh, citrus aioli and um, a little bit of nori with sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. And then over here is our jackfruit steam buns. Uh, so that one also has a uh, jicama and carrot slaw with some fresno peppers, a little micro cilantro on top. Uh, over here is our uh, street corn, also known as the elote. Uh, so it's got a little bit of uh, mayo along with uh, cotilla cheese and our house-made uh, chili sauce, and chili pepper. And then this is going to be our cucumber salad. So underneath is a yogurt uh, cucumber sauce along with our romaine lettuce, a little bit of parmesan cheese, and uh, turmeric crumb. Okay, thank you. It all looks delicious. Thank you so much. Afterwards, make sure you save room for dessert. Careful, the wind is blowing off the powder <laughs> everywhere. Okay. All right, so Flowers. this is going to be our pina colada. Uh, oh, so okay. underneath, we got a little bit of, a, of our rum cream along with a coconut powder. Inside is a little cylinder of uh, pineapple, and then there is a uh, Malibu uh, mousse inside. Okay. Right. Over here's our uh, Toron creme brulee. So it's just a banana creme brulee. Uh, a little bit of calamansi gel. You got taro, um, and then just a little bit of the um, uh, wonton, uh, uh, wonton chips on top. And over here is our trifle. Uh, so the trifle has a little bit of cocoa powder on top. We got some uh, Grand Marais macerated uh, blueberries along with their blackberry, uh, blackberry combo. Thank you so much. What a fantastic meal. Make your reservations today. So our next adventure was jam-packed. We first started off at Daisy Po' Boy's Tavern in Hyde Park for a dinner collaboration. And then we headed to the West Loop Fulton Market area for a rooftop movie. Check it out. Daisy's Po' Boy and Tavern Monthly Sandwich Series is brought to you by Chef Eric Williams in partnership with Gordon Food Service. The series features Chicago's all-star chefs and their take on the Southern Po' Boy Classic Sandwich. Proceeds from each sandwich will be donated to the Virtue Leadership Program. What is that you're asking? Well, it's a non-for-profit incubator created to serve as a vehicle to equip local young adults of color with necessary skills to learn value-driven entrepreneurship through training at Virtue Restaurant in Hyde Park. The month of June features award-winning chef John Mannion, Brazilian spin on the sandwich. Let's hear what's in it. With salsa gold, vinaigrette, lettuce, and... The bread that was granted to you, the Leidenheimer's bread, the bread of New Orleans that we fly up. Um, could you tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind that? Yeah, it's simple. It's when I was one of the first things I tasted when I was a little kid was Brazilian fried chicken, which in which they uh, marinated. 
I won't say exactly what, but there's a ton of citrus, a ton of cumin, which doesn't really come through, a ton of garlic, uh, dredged in tapioca flour, and then quickly fried. And it's like, it's one of those things I've been chasing for a long time. And it's, uh, I don't know, one of the, one of the world's great fried chickens. Uh, salsa golf is the, oh, here it is. It is the uh, ubiquitous, the other ubiquitous sauce from South America. It is, this is a little bit different, but, uh, and I don't know why we don't have it here in the United States, but it is ketchup and mayonnaise, usually. Uh, the vinaigrette is kind of like a pico de gallo that you serve with almost everything in Brazil. For me, you gotta have shredded lettuce on a po' boy. I think there's pickles in there somewhere too. But this is just my platonic ideal of what I wanna eat when I'm eating po' boy. You can get John Mannion's Bossa Nova po' boy for the entire month of June. It was delicious. <laughs> Daisy's is located in the Chicago Hyde Park neighborhood at 5215 South Harper Avenue. Next up, it's movie time. Head on over to Fulton Market's Emily Hotel for the Rooftop Cinema Club. Located on the sixth floor, the Rooftop Cinema Club is bringing all the vibes this summer. I attended their VIP media night where we got to watch the Chicago classic Ferris Bueller's Day Off while enjoying some trivia, snacks, and of course, giveaways. The Alfresco movie experience offers a full bar, culinary cuisine, and traditional movie snacks, and of course, breathtaking views of our city. I'll see you there. Make sure to check the description of this video for helpful links. You know how much I love al fresco dining in the summertime. We're going to check out a spot that's about two blocks from my house. We're going to go enjoy some patio dining. They have a new brunch menu and they're going to be having live jazz music. Let's check it out. Summertime shy. Head on over to Laurel inside the Talbot Hotel for patio season. On Sundays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., they're offering a jazz brunch. I love the patio at Laurel. Great for people watching and even better accompanied by delicious brunch menu items and mimosas. Check out what we got. See the little chips right here? That's a tortellini with a lemon, it's really, fish, amazing. it's a white fish. Mm. It's a Mediterranean uh, sea bass, basically. And I have uh, the messy plate right here. So we have the mutaba. It's basically roasted bits with little bit of onions. Uh, we also have the muhammara, roasted peppers with walnuts in the middle, and the classic hummus. We have some uh, cucumbers, broccolini, carrots. We have some radish as well. We have the fat and olives. And we have some uh, grilled um, Greek bread and uh, pita bread as well. We have the French, I mean the gourmet burger right there with spinach and caramelized onions and the French fries. And we have the fruit uh, that has cantaloupe, pineapple, and honey. Dough. And I'll be right back with the sausage as well. Okay, thank you. Make sure you grab a mimosa. Cheers. It's time for the Oscars of the food world. Let's head to the James Beard Awards. Let's go. Through your food. And while we've been schmoozing and sipping and connecting, these chefs, they have been hard at work as the creators of our patron dinner up in the mezzanine. And oh look, we have a live feed. I don't even know how they managed to change the time, so I gotta say, maybe I should slow down the cadence just a little bit to get, oh, well, you made it! Wow. Oh, 
Chicago only pulled out one award this year. Lula Cafe won Outstanding Hospitality, presented by American Airlines. After the show is the after party, the post-award celebration was held at Union Station and attended by over 1,600 chefs, food media, restauranters, and culinary enthusiasts. The event featured food and beverage stations highlighting chefs from around the country. Such a fun event. Congratulations to all the winners and the nominees. See you next year. We are at the end of episode 12. Make sure to tune in next time where we're going to be bringing you everything summertime shy. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to shytoglance.com. We're going to be sharing so many wonderful things to do this summer with you. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.